Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. True story. That's how I was after I saw this movie when I came home. Conjuring 2, up next, let's go! What's up, y'all? You are now rocking with Brian's Cosigns. I am Brian Gunn. So listen, don't ask for any popcorn or soda when you get to that concession stand. No, no. What you better ask for is an onk, a rosary beads, a crucifix, a damn lucky rabbit's foot. I don't care what it is. After you see this movie, you are going to need that. Movie I'm talking about is The Conjuring 2. The Conjuring 2 stars Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. They are back as our favorite couple, the Warrens, Ed and Lorraine. So this time they're called to investigate a report that's going on in London of all places. There's a family that may or may not be possessed, but since the uh, Warrens have a good track record, they're called to take a look at it for right now. So before I saw the Conjuring 2, I was praying, well I was actually doing a lot of praying, but before I saw it, I was praying that it would be very good. Because here's the problem with horror sequels. Horror sequels are just that horrible. Directors tend to outthink themselves. They want to make it better, but in doing so, they make it corny and cheesy. Thank God for James Wan. Yes, this dude killed it. Uh, no pun intended. The Conjuring 2 is one of the best horror movies that you're going to see, and here's why. Juan knows how to methodically deliver suspense scene by scene by scene. You know, each scene is better than the next. What I mean by that is there's buildup. There's buildup in this one, and then, you know, it moves along. There's buildup in that one. Then it moves along. There's buildup in that one. You know, and it does so without a lot of gratuitous violence. There are particular scenes where you're watching and the seed is planted in your head. It's not too violent, but it's scary enough. So you're watching and scene moves along and the scene moves along and you sort of forget, but it's still planted in your mind. You don't think anything is going to happen. You're not anticipating it. Bam! It just scared the hell out of you. Oh, that is what a horror movie is supposed to do. Set design and time period also give The Conjuring 2 an edge over any movie that you've seen as well. It does have its jump scares. I mean, the movie's very scary. It has, you know, your jump scares here and there. You'll be like, oh, God, what was that? And that's cool. But the interaction between the demon and the family, oh, man, it will torment you and your heart's going to go out to him. Let me talk about this little girl. Her name's Madison Wolf. Woo! She is amazing. Listen, I bet you, I bet you she needed some counseling after the shooting rap because what she goes through in this film, mm -mm. I couldn't have done it. As I was watching this film, however, I became a little concerned. I was a little concerned about where this subplot was going because it was almost as if the subplot was going to take on a life of its own and that will become convoluted. You don't want that. But as I said before, James Wan is a crafty individual. He knows what he's doing. He ties in the scenes. So in the third act, I'm like, oh, this is what damn. <laughs> It is absolutely amazing. Now, there are a little bit of flaws in here, and one of those flaws is predictability. And it is not predictability with the horror scenes. The predictability lies in the scenes that are meant to calm you down, like your everyday scenes. Yeah, that's right. Hey, look, I'm hating. <laughs> hey, man. This movie kept me up all night again. I gotta say something bad about it, all right? 
Listen, this is one of the best horror sequels you will ever see in your life. It's one of the best movies you're going to see as well. I put this movie up here with the likes of The Exorcist and The Omen. Therefore, I am giving The Conjuring 2 a cosine classic. Yo, you better be prayed up before you see this film, I'll tell you that much. Have you seen it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Put your comments down south, let me check them out. And as always, take your ass to the movies. <laughs> Aight? Brian's Cosa Hunting.